guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Holy moly, I'm in my beauty room. You guys said you are not a beauty guru anymore. You are a lifestyle. I kind of am a lifestyle girl now. Quarantine got me messed up. The thing is like, I don't go anywhere anymore because of quarantine. So it's like doing makeup is like, for what? <laughs> I love makeup though. So I'm back to doing it. My God, I have built up so many products and so many new releases that have come out recently, like within the last three months. And then I've gotten so many PR packages in this week specifically. So I'm gonna do a really cool makeup look today. If it flops, I'm sorry. I just wanna try this really cool look I have in my mind I've never tried before. And I'm gonna be testing out so many new products. Like I'm probably gonna have to use both sides of my face to test out like two of everything. So we're gonna be testing out thousands of dollars worth of makeup. This was sent to me in PR. I did not buy it all. I don't really think I have to say that these days. Tyler. <laughs> really? He just took a Polaroid of me. Let's see what it looks like. The distractionos in this video. I hate myself. <sighs> in case you wanted to see my beautiful pictures Tyler took. All right, so I'm gonna be trying out a ton of new products, guys. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I don't think I need to ramble on because I have a feeling this video is gonna get a little long due to the amount of products that I have here to try out. It's gonna get crazy. So with that being said, we are gonna go ahead and jump right in. Be sure and subscribe before you leave. Okay, Tatcha has come out with two new products. The first one is the Liquid Silk Canvas. This is a primer, and they also have like a Silk Canvas skincare. So it says apply one pump to your skin after your SPF before your makeup. Makeup. I'm having trouble reading and the next one is a serum stick I just wanted to try out on the other side of my face I'm like looking around do I have another primer I need to be trying out I don't think so okay so we're gonna put this serum stick over here this is so strange maybe I should just do this for skincare but does this serum stick actually feels kind of greasy Okay, well we put the serum stick on. Oh my God, this is, oh it says for eyes and face. Oh my God, I thought it said for lips and face. I thought I had done messed up. <laughs> oh, terrifying. We're gonna go ahead and put the primer on the other side of my face. I did one pump, which may be too much, but let's see. The smell is bringing it back to me. They have the silk canvas in the putty form, which Elf kind of duped. I wonder how like brands feel about that. Like I wonder if like Tatcha, I don't know. They may be like, we really don't care. They may be like, are you kidding me right now, Elf? You know, like how do they feel about that? Ooh. Okay, let's move on to foundation. Actually, no, I have to do my eyes first because we're gonna do a more dramatic look and I don't wanna make a mess of my face makeup. So for eyes, I have the Norvina palette. This is a new one that just came out. Oh. She is very pink and glittery, very pinky themed and then I have the stupid love house labs palette by Lady Gaga and it is really pretty it feels really heavy it feels luxe it's actually a very large palette it has a lot of colors this one is a blue themed palette so if you like blues this is gonna be your girl if you like pinks that's gonna be your girl neither of these palettes are very neutral at all I would say these this one has a couple neutral warm tones on this side but for the most part it's more of a colorful palette you would get more bang out of your book if you like to do colorful looks with it I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one for you just so you can get like the vibe of it kind of see the colors of it and then I'm going to actually use the Norvina palette today here are some swatches of the stupid love palette some of these shimmers are a little see-through and then some of them are pretty opaque yeah not all the shimmers are like super super heavy pigmented they're more like a topper but they do all feel very nice I also have the new electric cake liners I love the way these open like I love it it's so pleasurable to open these because they swivel so softly but there's two sets of them and I think they're water activated so I'm gonna be playing with those too wish me luck. <laughs> I feel like artistry is like being, I don't know, like a sport. Like you have to consistently be doing fun looks to continue to be good at them, exercising that creative muscle. But for me, by the way, I'm using the ABH eye primer. But for me, like honestly, I'm more of a neutral girl. I like to do more neutral looks instead of creative looks. That's my vibe. And that's totally okay. Not every person that, you know, does makeup on the internet has to consistently be whipping out really insanely crazy looks and if that's all you whip out then that is your that's your vibe that's your artistry we're all different online but mine has never been never been you know just like wild looks all the time I'm more of a I don't know not neutral Nelly because I definitely like to play with different colors but not in that much of a dramatic way but today I'm gonna break out of my comfort zone and do that a little bit I actually do play with blues and stuff a lot I'm gonna take C2 this is more of like a 
Barbie pink. Does that make any sense? I feel like this brush is way too big. Okay, I'm gonna take an M506 brush with the Barbie pink. It's like a little less than hot pink and I'm gonna pack this on to the outer corner. I am using my backup cannon right now because my other one broke because I dropped it and this cannon is not nearly as good as my other one, which is a total bummer. So now I'm just taking a clean brush and I am very softly without going too deep onto my eyelid, just softening up those harsh edges to make sure they are blended nicely. And a way to do that is you can just go in like tiny little small circular motions. Tiny little small. Tiny little small. <laughs> wow. Now I'm gonna go into the hot, hot, hot electric pink down here into the corner. I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and I'm just gonna press it into the outer corner of my eye because I wanna deepen it up and just make it look really electric over here on this side of town. I really wanna go in with this neon yellowy shade, but I'm scared to because I'm scared it's not gonna be that pigmented and it's gonna throw off the whole look because this is the first impressions and I have not used this palette or swatched it before. But when I swatched it, it is pretty pigmented. It's like realistically packing it on. If it's not that pigmented, it's not gonna look good on this look. I'm packing it on my hand right now. It is kind of pigmented, so I think I'm gonna go for it, but just know if it messes up the look, I called it. Okay, so I have a flat brush. I'm just gonna press. Okay, the yellow is gonna show up. We're good, we're good guys. The yellow is gonna show up, no one panic. But we're just gonna press her on right here. <laughs> right here, right in the uh, front of my eyelid here, the inner corner area. And we're just gonna blend it kind of into the pink. It's okay if they don't mesh completely. You're supposed to just very softly fade into one another. Going back into the super electric hot pink. Just gonna blend it right through here. That looks so nice. I'm actually really impressed by this yellow shade because sometimes yellows, they just don't really pan out to be all that you hope they would be. But this one is really pigmented and it's actually making the look so great. Also, I'm so sorry if uh, the footage kept turning bluish. Ty accidentally had it on auto white balance. So we just fixed it. Alrighty, now we're gonna get into the Electric liners. <laughs> okay, I have water activated. I put a little water on my brush and tap into it and it's like the color started melting, which it just basically started turning into like a liquid, which is fascinating to me. I have a little Morphe M250. This is a tiny liner brush. And I'm gonna take the hot pink shade and line. I'm so nervous. I'm gonna line uh, oh, my eye right here. Just line it where the yellow is. That is sickening, like, it's so cool. I think the look would be really cool if I just like left it as is right here, but I kinda wanna take it a step further and play with the bright yellow liner. Hopefully I won't ruin the look, but no promises. <laughs> These are so cool, it's like melting into there. What is happening? These are so interesting, it's like outer space science. <laughs> Okay, here I go with the yellow. I'm gonna do the yellow on the pink side. I'm just need to mesh these together right here. Can I get that orangey going? I also got it in my lashes, so now I look a little bit crazy, but we'll cover that up with a little bit of mascara. The yellow doesn't provide quite as much coverage as the pink, but you can definitely build it up and get her there. All right, guys, I am there's like a fine line with how much water you put in the product. If you put a little too much, it becomes really runny and you don't get any pigment. If you don't put enough, it's really hunky chunky and it just is a mess. So you definitely have to get used to playing with these. I feel like the yellow is kind of a mess, honestly. Like it will not build up. <laughs> Okay, I just spent quite a long time trying to get this more smoothed out a little bit. I think I did the best that I can. Um, I think it looks pretty good though. The pink is so incredibly easy to work with though. It just, it, it, it just knows what to do. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna do my liner over here and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I went ahead and applied my brows. So now I'm gonna just curl my lashes and we're gonna try out two different mascaras. It's kind of hard to envision this look right now because I have so much of this eyeliner 
paint in my lashes. We have the brand new mascara from Marc Jacobs. It's called At Lashed. And then we have the new Huda Legit Lashes mascara. So we're going to try both. I'll try the Marc Jacobs one on this side. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what the wand looks like. And we are going to give them a good coating. This one is really soft on the lashes. Like the bristles are really soft. They're not pokey at all. And I feel like it just separates the lashes very well. It does give them a nice coat. Alrighty, let's try out the Huda one, shall we? Let's see, there's two ends to it. Curl and lengthen and volume. So the volume one's a big chunky brush and then this one is a curled up brush. I wanna try the curl and length. I feel like it is curling my lashes a little bit. Um, I don't really know which one I like better. They're both very different. My lashes seem to be almost lifted a little more on this side. You know, the one I like the most out of both of these is the Velvet Noir Mascara from Marc Jacobs. This one's been around for a long time and I just love it. It just works a little better, I think. Okay, we are now finally getting around to foundation. For foundation today, I have the True Portrait Liquid Powder Foundation. Very interesting. By KBD Vegan Beauty. Okay, this is such an interesting tube. Look, it literally, what? What is this? It's super liquidy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try out this shade 045 Medium. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh my God. Okay, it just squirted. I also have this new sponge. This sponge is called the Super Sponge. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this before. You may have. It has like a rubber top to it and that way it doesn't absorb any of your product and you can clean it every single day super easily without it absorbing product and holding bacteria and stuff like that you wet the sponge just like you do a beauty blender you start wetting it um you they advertise you wet it at the bottom the whole thing gets kind of wet and then you just kind of rub out you rub out your foundation with it Okay, first of all the sponge feels so strange i don't not like it it just it's different than a beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender. But I will say this, I feel like the product is going like immensely further than what a beauty blender can take the product, a sponge, I should say. Like this is going all over my face for days with this sponge. So I feel like your product is going to definitely last longer using something like this. The sponge, it doesn't feel hard at all on my face or like painful. It just feels different. Does that make sense? Like something I would have to get used to. That's kind of what it looks like. And then you also have the sponge side, which you can then tap your makeup once you got it all spread out just to smooth out any streaks and all. And by the way, this color is almost perfect for my skin. The 045, great for my skin. And by the way, the foundation is like stunning. And this is the first time I've ever used it. It's like a medium coverage foundation. I think you could build it up to full coverage. It has a lot of play time to it. Blends out really, really, really easy. Like super, super, super easy. Really impressed with the blend. And then it's like it eventually kind of dries down into a super matte foundation. It's a weird formula. And I'll say this about this foundation. I've never tried a foundation that looks or feels like this at all, ever in my life. Like this is so strange. Like the sponge is strange. The foundation is all new to me because this is a different situation. But I think my skin looks so great with this foundation. I'm really excited about it. I'll definitely be using this again. I like that the sponge has a soft spongy side to it to really get that beautiful airbrushed finish and like really soft stroke free finish because that's really important to me. So overall, I really do like this sponge. I could definitely see myself using it again. It's extremely soft. I like that you still wet it and I like how long your product goes with it. So yeah, I would definitely use this again. I'm, I'm really impressed. Let's use it with a little concealer and see the tea. All right, so for concealer, I have two that I wanna try out. This is the El Maquillage FM Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. And then this one is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. So we're gonna try both today. I'm gonna go ahead and put this Stay Naked. The Stay Naked is like 10 shades too light, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna be able to use a lot of it or else it's just gonna be like, Whoa, um, but this one, it doesn't look like it is the wrong shade. Let's see, yeah. We're gonna use 07 in the Il Maquillage Concealer. All right, here I go. Oh, girl, this is two different worlds. <laughs> we are actually gonna use 375. What is going on? Yeah, 375 is more of a softer neutral. That's gonna work better for me. This one feels a lot thinner too, so I feel like I can go in with a little more and because it's not so light. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the opposite side of the sponge 
By the way, this is called the Super Sponge. And I'm gonna blend out. Ooh, y'all, this Naked Concealer is thick. I feel like I'm having a harder time blending out the concealer with a sponge. Am I? Huh? huh? I don't know, maybe it's the concealer. She's thick. Okay, here's the thing. I like the sponge for foundation. I don't know how much I love it for concealer, but I like the spongy side for concealer, but like the hard point right under the eye is a little bit difficult to blend. So we're just gonna blend this out. I'm still gonna use it, but yeah, this is it's a little weird for the under eye, but I don't hate it, you know what I mean? I would probably just use the sponge for foundation. I'm gonna add a little more concealer because oddly enough, both sides, I still see a little bit of darkness and the concealers somewhat compare to one another as in like the coverage. I would say the Naked one probably has a little more coverage because I used less and we are seeing the same amount of coverage. So this one's like really thick. All right, so if I had to compare, I actually like both concealers. I like the way they blended. Um, they blended very nicely. They both have a lot of coverage to them. Huh. If I'm trying to pick which one I like better, they're both a little different. I kind of like the El Maquillage one a little bit better than the Urban Decay one. The Urban Decay one, like realistically, like if I used it how I use it, it'd be like way too thick for me. So with that being said, I like the El Maquillage one better. I have a couple more cream products to try out before we dip into powders. So our next cream product is Cheek Slime. Now this is by the brand Freck that makes the fre fake freckle pin. I don't know if you guys saw me and Erin use that, but we did. I'm gonna put a little bit of their new liquid blush on the sponge. It's called Lip and Cheek Tint with Plant Collagen. Ta-da! Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend it. <gasps> wow! That just blended out like a dream. Hello. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Do you guys see like that little bit of flush? <gasps> I love this. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Cream blushes can give you a really hard time, but in this case, this one's really nice. Wow. I'm into it. Yes, give it to me, mama. Give it to me. Oh my gosh, I feel so beautiful and flushed. Okay, I really like this cheek slime. I'm so into this. I didn't think I would be, by the way. I mean, I didn't think I would hate it or anything, but I, I really love it so much. This one is called Fielding, but I think they have a bunch of different shades. Oh, guess what? More cream products. We have by Vanity Makeup. This is her Sculpt and Glow palette. They are so freaking pretty, and I'm gonna try this one out today. This one is the Medium Trio. So I'm gonna take the contour. Wow, these are creamy. Like I barely touched, barely touched, and a little goes a very long way. Wow, we I'm into this too. I'm really impressed. So happy I am back here playing with a little bit of makeup. And I've been really impressed so far. So that's exciting. So now we are going to take the sponge. We're just really using the sponge for everything today. But we're just gonna blend this out, and these blend out truly effortlessly, as far as I can tell so far, like just a dream. Okay, guys, I'm really going in with the blend here. I actually do like the silicone side of this thing, um, the sponge, to blend out the cream contour works really well. And then I just kind of go back over it with the sponge. Okay, now for my under eyes, I am going to set my under eyes specifically with a little bit of the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Urban Decay. This is the Naked Fix, the Fix, the Fix Powder. I'm going to set like the rest of my face with that. I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush, get some of this powder and just sweep it around my face really lightly. You can still see the contour and the blush through these powders because they are a bit sheer and translucent. I'm now gonna take some of the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Contour Powder and just overlay my contour with that. Every time I put down a cream contour, no matter what, I always add a little bit of powder on top. You definitely wanna do this to set everything, keep everything nice and in place, and really to emphasize and build up on your cream contour. So my love, LaFran Manny MUA came out with the Moon Prism Blush Palette. This looks so beautiful. I love all six shades. I think they are very pretty. I would wear all six of these shades all at once or all separately. But today I'm going to pop into Stargaze. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that right on top of our cream blush. Right on top. A little on the nose, a little on the chin. 
We are blushy. We are blushing. I kind of want to do a little bit of a lighter lash today. So I'm going to take the Salon Perfect 661 lashes and apply these. For highlighters, we have the new Kooky Koki. I feel like this brand probably hates me because I cannot remember how to pronounce the name of this brand, but they came out with these new highlighters and honestly, like I have not tried them. This is the first impressions, but my God, they look so bomb. This is a drugstore brand, by the way. I'm gonna do, if you guys wanna see like a new, these better be good because I'm so hyped up for them, <laughs> but I'm gonna do a new like drugstore. What's good makeup? Hmm, well. <sighs> Oh, there we go. There she goes. We had to get her going. We had to get her cranked up, excited, and going because she was a little stage fright. Um, this one is in Heavenly. Yes, and she is quite heavenly. Wow, these are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to give a rundown of everything at the end, so if you hang it tight to the end of the video, I'll tell you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I am going to use a new setting spray. However, I love, love, love this product and I've already used it. This product is not first impression and I am cheating, okay? <laughs> this is the Vell Soft Focus Setting Spray by Hourglass. And to tell you the truth, I love it. I love it. Oh, you just can't get enough of it. It isn't that dewy. It's like hard to describe. It's not like a super dewy setting spray. It's not matte, you know what I mean? You don't feel tight. You don't feel like you sprayed hairspray all over your face. It's very movable. So I would say it's in between just like a regular MAC Fix Plus. It reminds me of MAC Fix Plus a little bit, but not really that dewy, you know what I mean? And I love the dew, but this is great. It's great. Okay, we have quite a few lipsticks to try out from Huda Beauty. They all came in this packaging. It's like this really cool iridescent packaging. It's called Sparkling Lip Balm and they look so insane. Do you see that? Wow, look at all that glitter. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God. Let's. Okay, I get it. So it's like a lip balm because it said it was a lip balm. I get it now. <laughs> but look how it's like super, super, super. What's the opposite of peg? Transparent? See what I'm saying? Really pretty, like super cool. Like I'm so into it for today's look actually. This color is called Censored. Really freaking cool. I don't even makeup wipes. Where are they at though? Okay, I'm gonna try on Dirty Thoughts. This one's kind of weird. Okay, here we go. <gasps> I knew this one was funky. It's so sparkly, I love it. I love it. I'm normally not one to go for something funky like this, but these are so wearable and like playful. You know what I mean? I'm excited. I love it. I think these are cool. So I think this one's going to complement our look the most today. This one is called Seductress. Seductress. It's like a light pink. This one literally complements our look by far the most. Mm. How cute. It's like a really light balm, but just super cool. They also have three more shades I will share with you. The dark purple is called Female Fantasy. And she's just more of a purple glitter. Oh, we have another pink one, and this one is called Lace Panty. Wow, they really took it there, didn't they? And there she is. They all kind of look like somewhat similar because they're so translucent. My God, and then this one is just like straight up gray, silver. It's like a whitish one right there. And this one is called, do, 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 do. I don't know what this word is. I'll be honest, I don't know what this word is. N-E-G-L-I-G-E-E. -E -E. Negligee? So negligee? I don't know. Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's give a quick rundown of the products and I'll tell you some of my favorites. So this I would use in my skincare routine. I wouldn't use it under my makeup. It felt a little bit heavy. This I absolutely love. I think I would love it just as much as the putty silk canvas, maybe even a little bit more. Cheek Slime is one of the favorite products that I used in today's video. I am shocked by it. I am normally not like the first to grab torture cream blush, but I'm loving them more and more and more, so. It's great, I recommend it. These are interesting little boogers. I love the creativity behind them. I love the look that how, how it came out using them. I think it takes a little practice and playing with them to get them to really apply evenly. But they're great and I will be using them again and I'm pretty excited about them. The eyeshadow palette by Norvina. I know we didn't use a lot of colors in it, but today I wanted the to try out the cream liners and like a new product and let that have its moment. But this was great. I love these cream contours. I'll definitely be using them again. And I think my all 
all-time favorite product for the day may have been the foundation. The foundation is so beautiful. I love the way it looks on my skin. I think my skin looks pretty flawless with that foundation and it may be my new go-to foundation. Seriously, I'm obsessed and I, I just truly mean that. The sponge I actually love for foundation. I loved it for like the cream products. The only thing I didn't love it for is concealer. The lipsticks are so bomb and so cool and honestly, I was skeptical about them because they are not a typical Laura Lee product, but I'm open to it and I tried it and I love it. Setting spray, bomb, uh, mascaras. I have others that I love more. Neither of the mascaras were bad. I did not hate either of them. I think they were great. I just probably wouldn't be my go-to mascaras. The concealers, I really like the El Marquillage one and the Naked one was just a little bit heavy for me. I feel like that's everything. I'm definitely probably missing mentioning something, but I love the way this look came out. It's a very summery, airy, fresh look, but very colorful and playful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for being here and watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button down below before you leave, baby girl. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.